Hello my loves, this is Colette and this is Conversations with Colette. And today I am wearing my Merkaba, my Argonite Merkaba, Merkaba, I'm not totally sure on the pronunciation. And then I'm also wearing my Quartz Crystal, which helps with manifesting and clearing. So I love both of these, I wear these a lot actually. And Argonite is great for protecting yourself from environmental um, freak, like waves the waves that are bad for you in the environment. So I like wearing that. And then the symbol of the Merkaba is super powerful as well for manifesting. So love these. And today's topic is about using isolation as punishment. Now, this is something that I've been guilty of in the past when I was younger. When I was teaching, I gave the kids times out. If they were, you know, if they didn't listen and wrote their name on the board, gave them timeouts. And it's just not healthy. It's something that's been passed along from generation to generation using isolation as punishment. And the thing is, humans are social creatures. So yeah, like you're gonna teach someone a lesson, um, you know, isolating them, pun punishing them, putting them in time out, and making them feel unwanted. It might change their behavior, but what does that do to their inner being and their self-esteem? And so people don't, they do this with children, they do this with friends a lot of times, but it's very manipulative. If you're upset with somebody and you're like, oh, I'm going to ignore this person, that doesn't solve anything, you know? And if you need time, that's fine. That's, that's different, you know? And if you want to say, hey, I'm really upset about something that happened between us, I would just like some time to just think this over and process it and I'll get back to you. And then letting the people, the person know how you feel later after you've calmed down, that's totally fine. And it's actually probably better because then you're not going to say something you regret later. But to totally just not text someone or respond for a few days, I think is very manipulative. And people do this to their children. They put them in time out by themselves. And a lot of times the kids don't even know what they did right so the parents are putting they're punishing them they're putting them in time out and the kids don't understand why they're being punished and the parents expect them to know like oh you know what you did but just like a lot of times kids don't think like adults so they really don't know what they did they don't understand why their parents are so mad even if like to you it should be so obvious and maybe you've told them before and you've yelled at them about the same thing before but Again, kids don't understand, they don't process like adults do, so they're not gonna understand what you're so upset about or why they're in trouble or why they're being punished or why they're getting a time out. And so that isolation could be so much better if you just explained it to them and said, hey, you know, that's not how we behave here. This is, this is why it's unacceptable. And having a conversation with somebody that you're upset with instead of just ignoring them. And so that is a very unhealthy way of handling it. And again, it's common. People think it's normal to put kids in time out or to ignore someone they're mad at. And it's not healthy. It's so much healthier to say, hey, I, I'm going to take some time to think about my feelings and then I'll get back to you than to just flat out ignore someone or try to teach them a lesson or try to punish them or whatever it is. Just ignoring someone is not the way to do it. And if you're an adult and you're doing this to someone that you love, do you think that's very loving? Is that coming from a place of love? No, it's not. And so if you have someone that already has abandonment issues and then you're ignoring them, that's just going to make them feel more isolated and they'll probably leave you. Um, at least I would, personally. But, you know, I would break up with somebody. But, yeah. So there's so many healthier ways to deal with something when you're upset. And most it's talking about it. And if you're just really upset and really mad and you feel like, okay, I'm going to say things I, I might regret later, just express that. I'm really upset right now. I need some time to think. Give me a little bit of time. I'll get back to you tomorrow. I'll get back to you in a few days. Let me process how I'm feeling. Or just talk it out. This is what happened. This is how I feel about it. Like, this is what I need from you. And that's so hard for people to do because nobody's ever practiced that. 
So I encourage you to practice that. And it might be really challenging at first if you've never done it, of saying, hey, this is how I feel. And it's actually making you vulnerable. And so I get that, but it's gonna make you very authentic and you're gonna feel very good about yourself. And maybe the other person won't receive it the way that you had hoped, but you're being true to yourself and you're being in integrity by expressing how you feel about something and why you feel the way that you feel. And you're allowed to express that. And um, this is a lesson that I had to learn through lots of practice of expressing how I feel. So yeah, lesson for the day, ignoring and trying to punish or teach someone a lesson by you know isolating them is manipulative. It's not the way to do things. It's much healthier, healthier, much better, and much more authentic. And if the person can you know listen and, and hold space for you, your relationship is going to be amazing. So keep creating rich and manifesting powerful relationships. And if you like this video, please subscribe and share it. There's a link below to share it. And if you want to stop going on bad dates, grab my No More Bad Dates guide on my website, www.colettegallagher.com. And I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great day.